That's right, Allison. It is the sixth annual Native American cultural celebration, and this is where you can hear from some of the leading voices in the Native American community as they come here to discuss how best to tackle some of the biggest environmental issues of the day. Let's listen to indigenous wisdom and knowledge and see if we can take some of that wisdom and apply it to solve modern problems. The scientists converging on the Museum of Native American History this week bring with them a unique perspective. They're all members of individual tribes across North America. You can't solve problems with the same kind of thinking that created them. Dr. Dan Wildcat hopes to show people how indigenous philosophies can help guide the planet toward a greener future. While Dr. Jessica Hernandez will explain why she believes some of our current green efforts are actually backfiring on marginalized societies. She says many of the precious metals we use to make electric vehicles and solar panels are extracted from mines located in Central America. Uh, you know, it's a double-edged sword, right? Because we can, you know, stop relying so much on oil, but then these mining of uranium, nickel, and all these elements that are, you know, used to for those resources are unfortunately coming from Central America and the global south. And Hernandez says that leaves indigenous people in Central America with far less land to provide for their families. And as a result, right, many of us are forced into the United States and Canada because of those impacts that, you know, destroy our livelihoods and no longer allow us to have the means to support our families and communities. Despite this, Dr. Dan Wildcat says their message has nothing to do with taking away anyone's rights. Indigenous people value human liberty as much as anyone on the planet, but we recognize that human liberty is groundless unless it's counterbalanced with responsibilities. Uh, wise words, incredibly wise words there from some people who are going to be here the next several days. They're going to have 10 speakers in total. Uh, and this continues tomorrow, continues into Wednesday. It's all here at the Museum of Native American History in Bentonville. And it is, it's a place to check out.